Welcome to your weekly UAS news update. We have three stories for you this week. First off, DJI has announced the Mini 5 Pro as expected. We also have a drone pilot that's been sentenced for colliding with the firefighting aircraft in California. And then lastly, we have a search and rescue drone that gets shot in Maine. Let's get to it. And first up, this week, DJI has unveiled the Mini 5 Pro, kind of as expected. And the specs are, as we, uh, you know, thought, pretty jaw-dropping for a sub-250 gram drone. The headline features a 50 megapixel, one inch CMOS sensor. That's right, one inch CMOS sensor in a Mini, which is, well, something that people have been requesting for a long time. Uh, but here it is in a Mini drone, which is kind of crazy. Now the camera can shoot 4K videos at 60 frames per second in HDR, and then even go at a 4K slow motion at 120 frames per second, which again is just crazy for a mini drone. Now for the pros, uh, it supports 10-bit D-Log M and HLG color profiles, and it has a maximum ISO of 12,800. Now the gimbal also has a major upgrade with the 225 degree uh, roll rotation, and then a true vertical shooting so that you know you can do social media work without actually cropping the camera actually turns sideways, which I think is one of the big benefits, especially if you're doing a lot of social media stuff. For safety, DJI is introducing what they call the Nightscaped Omnidirectional Obstacle Sensing, NOOS, I guess, uh, which uses the forward-facing LiDAR unit and multiple vision sensors for better performance in low light. Now, the flight time is rated at 36 minutes for the standard battery, the smaller one, and a optional Intelligent Flight Battery Plus that would be uh, giving you potentially 52 minutes. Uh, we still have to put that to the test. Now for the big catch, obviously we've kind of hinted at this. The Mini 5 Pro is not officially available in the US market through the uh, DJI store. Now it is possible that other retailers may carry it like they did with the Mavic 4, uh, but it just won't be available through the DJI store itself. Next up, a drone pilot in California has been sentenced for the mid-air collision with a firefighting aircraft that happened a couple months ago. We reported on this pretty heavily. Uh, Peter Ackerman, a 57-year-old from Culver City, pleaded guilty to a federal misdemeanor for the unsafe operation of a drone. The incident happened back in January of 2025 when he flew the drone in the path of the Super Scooper fighting aircraft that was battling the Palisade fires in LA. The drone struck the wing of the air aircraft and caused a three by six inch hole inside the wing and forced the airplane to be grounded for repairs. And the cost of the repairs, a whopping $65,000. Yeah, that stuff is not cheap. As part of the plea deal, Acumen has been ordered to pay full restitution to the Quebec government, which owned the airplane, and to the repair company. Uh, he also has to complete 150 hours of community service, supporting wildfire relief efforts. In a letter to the court, he said that his actions were an I quote, stupid and reckless, and I would agree with that, uh, saying that he was curious to see the fire damage. Now, this is a stark reminder for everyone that's flying out there that flying in a TFR, temporary flight restriction, especially over emergency scenes, is, well, dangerous and obviously completely illegal. So please don't be that guy. And for everyone who said that a small drone cannot do that much damage, well, you were wrong. And I look forward to the retracting statements all over Facebook, right? And for the final story this week, a real-world Drones for Good story that took a bad turn in Maine. A commercial drone operated by 2A TAC Air Services uh, was shot while it was being used for search and rescue for two missing dogs. Uh, the operator, Rob Russell, was flying the drone at an altitude of 360 feet in uh, Corinth, Maine, when he received a warning and brought the aircraft down. Upon inspection, he found that there was a bullet hole straight through the Mavic, uh, the Matrice 30, that's what he was flying, uh, through the front sensor. Uh, Russell, who uses the fleet of drones for search and rescue missions across New England, said, said that the damage will cost thousands to repair, which I believe that stuff is expensive, and take a critical tool out of service. Now, the incident here is now under federal investigation. And of course, it's important for everyone to understand that shooting a drone is a federal offense, legally equivalent to shooting at a manned aircraft. It not only destroys expensive equipment, but also poses a serious risk to people on the ground when the drone potentially falls. Again, please don't be that guy. Now, on this topic, the FAA is actually proposing in the new Part 108 NPRM to add language that would protect remote pilots and the visual observers from harassment and distraction, which, quite frankly, is a welcome addition. Now, this would live in Part 108, but also be added to Part 107, which is a good segue to our sponsor. 
No, just kidding. It's actually a good segue to our part 108 video. It's incredibly important at this point that you make your voices heard on the issue with the part 108 and PRM. And if you're not really sure where to start, we have two videos. We have one explaining the actual entire proposal. And then we also have one explaining our comment to the part 108. Uh, spoiler alert here, part 108 as proposed would not, I repeat, would not include current part 107 pilots and recreational pilots. Uh, uh, we have a solution for that, so make sure that you go watch the video and then get your comments submitted before October 6th of, two, uh, of 2025 of this year. This is coming out, it's right around the corner. And then lastly, if you like our proposal to fix the NPRM, be sure to fill out the form. We'll put a link in the description so we can include you and your company as a supporter to our joint comment that is going to the FAA. Uh, this means that you still need to submit your comment, but we can add your name as well. Uh, there's over 100 people already, 100 companies companies that have uh, submitted the form and that we are included in the document. And then on Post Flight this week, the show where we share the opinion on all of these things, we're going to talk about all of these stories, but also talk about the Skadio Ascent event and then the release of, I think, new drones. Uh, this is happening actually after we are posting this video. That's why we'll talk about it uh, in Post Flight instead of right here. Have a great weekend and we'll see you next week. Mm -hmm.